And we continue to track new details in a deadly crash Sunday. Tonight, we hear from the family of a passenger ejected from a car. Aaron Murray joins us from the crash site 30th and Lake with new details on his recovery at 6 v Live. John, this is the intersection where a car with four people inside collided with a Buick. Dustin Putnam sat behind the driver of that car. Another passenger, Nick Bywater, also or was killed. Excuse me, was killed. This is a memorial for him right here behind me. Putnam is still fighting in ICU right now. Today, his family opened up for the first time. 18-year-old Dustin Putnam has spent most of the week fighting for his life. He was not wearing his seatbelt and was ejected from this Chevy Impala when it struck a Buick at 30th and Lake Sunday morning. Now, three days later, his health is turning a corner for the better. He's doing better now. Um, he's been up. He's talked a little bit more. Um, he's still in ICU. So we're working on, he just had surgery again yesterday. They had to put a plate and screws in his arms. Dustin's best friend, Jordan Bywater, was driving the car. Their friend, Christy Parker, was in the front. In the back, Dustin and Bywater's brother, Nick, neither wearing a seatbelt, both ejected and Nick was killed. I've tried to talk to Dustin. Dustin doesn't really remember a lot of the accident. He, the last thing he says that he remembers is picking up Chrissy and, get, and getting in the back seat. And while Dustin's time spent at Creighton Medical Center is improving his health, it's also weighing heavy on the family's wallet. From my understanding, Jordan didn't have car insurance either. So financially, the bills are already piling up on my parents because Dustin's still a minor. The family hopes a GoFundMe page will relieve financial stress in an already stressful week. Now, we reached out to the Omaha Police Accident Investigation Squad and the Douglas County Attorney's Office, and they say that this accident is still under investigation. So right now, no decision has been made if any charges are going to be filed. But the speed limit through this intersection, as you can see there, is 30 miles per hour. Now, police tell us they believe the car Dustin was in was going faster than that. Another thing we want to point out is this intersection is controlled and run by traffic signals. But at this point, we have no word yet on which vehicle had the right of way. With photographer M.H. Stinker, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News.